Yo, what is going on, guys? Welcome back to the video. Today, I'm going to be teaching you how to make Blender thumbnails. Let's go. Okay, so first, what you want to do is you want to make sure you have the right stuff. So you want to open your Opera GX or Microsoft Edge or whatever. You want to type in Gorilla Tag Rig. And then it should pop up with the GitHub link. Once you do that, you just want to go to, you want to click it and you want to hit Gorilla Tag IK Rig Blend. And then you want to download that file. And then once you download that, you want to... You want to type in Blender, and then it should pop up with the Blender.org, and then you just want to click that link and download that, and then once you have downloaded that, you, sh you open up Blender, then once it opens up, you want to you want to hit open, scroll down until you see Blender.ak rig something number dot blend. Do you want to click it? Open it. It opens a Gorilla Tag player. Basically, what we do is you click. If you want to change the color, you want to click the Gorilla Tag character, and you want to go straight on to see materials on the side, and then you want to click that primary color, and you can change it to whatever you want. In this case, I'm going to change it to blue because that's my favorite color, and it's good. And if you want to change the name, you want to click the name. You want to click Tab on your keyboard. And you can change the name. I'm just going to put it as CCG Candy Cane. Oh, yeah. And also, don't put it as lowercase letters. Because it would look really, really weird. And nobody likes lowercase letters. Anyways. And then once you're done, you want to click anywhere on the screen. And then you just want to click edit, edit mode and then object mode. And your thing is in. And you can move it however you want. Just like that. Next, what you want to do is... If you want to add a face to your Gorilla Tag character, you just want to go to Shading, go up, click the Gorilla Tag character, and then you want to download a face. So, I have left a link in the description for a Google Drive. You just want to click that link, and it will pop you up right here. And if you don't find any faces that you would like, I'm going to leave the second link to my Discord server where it's going to have Gorilla Tag faces, uh, custom faces, and other other stuff as well. Hold up, let me just get to my Discord. <clears throat> I got these from my friend's Discord server. Okay. Um, it's my friend Squishy's Discord server. You go down to custom faces. And there's some custom faces right here. I prefer this one right here, the smiling face, if you want to do, like, a profile picture or something. But I just prefer that. Uh, download, download that if you want, or download any other ones. Go back to your Blender project, right over here, and you just want to open up your files, your file explorer, and then do downloads, and then and then drag it right in the spots. Just drag it right into here. Close on that. Next, that you want to do is very very important. You just want to hit colors, drag it to face textures right over here and then then you want to hit lunar or what lunar or whatever it's called and then you want to hit closest just like that and then you want to drag the face textures until it gets to one one dot zero 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 and your face is in now what you want to do to change like the position of it you just want to go to you just want to hit that square right over here. I'm going to go to pose mode right here, just like that. And you can move it however you want. I'm just going to move it just like, just like this. And then to move the hands, 
you just want to click the hand the hand button and you want to hit rotate and you, you can rotate your hands just like that just like so and then i'm just going to change it so the hands are facing up Oops. Just like, oh my goodness, this is so, just like that. And if you want to move one arm at a time instead of both, you can click this like butterfly looking thing up here and click that X. And now you can move one arm at a time. But I, if you want to do like a pose kind of like this, I prefer just doing this right here makes it a whole lot easier now what you want to do is you want to add your cost if you want to add your cosmetics if you don't want to add cosmetics just skip to the time on the screen right now um so if you want so when you add when you want to add your cosmetics you want to open up your opera gx or whatever um you want to go to uh this website called Sketchfab, and then Sketchfab, the best 3D viewer, right here. Just make sure it's in. And you're gonna have to sign in uh, to download it, to download anything. And then you want to type in Gorilla Tag. That's all you gotta type in. And there's a bunch of Gorilla Tag stuff. Like there's Doug the Bug. There's Summer Cosmetics. There's that Cosmetics. And you just want to scroll down or. Sc or scroll up until you find the cosmetics that you want and say like you want the winter like the say you want the spring cleaning update okay now what you want to do is you want to you want to so once, once your things in you can see all the textures are on it you want to scroll down until you see gorilla uh, you want to see download 3d model and then you want to scroll down again until you see download GLB. You just want to download that. You just want to download that right there. And once you download it, you want to go back to your Blender project, just like this. And to import it, you just want to go to Files, Import, J, GLTF 2.0, and you just want to click that. Scroll down until you see spring cleaning in this case i'm just going to do winter because i already downloaded it and just like that but there's a but there's a thing where if if you say if you get the uh launch day no wait the the main city cosmetics you realize that they're not there but all you got to do is just zoom out just like this and they're right here and you just want to drag them all the way over to the green line and drag them closer to your project and there you go like your party hat and your admin your early access badge is right there so but i don't need those i just need the winter one and to you just want to get your cosmetics that you want from the when from the pack you want and put them over to the side and then you just want to click the, click these right here. You want to hit X on your keyboard and to, to delete them. And your th your stuff is in. So now what you want to do is you just want to go like this and line it up, just like that. And you just want to bring that over just a little, and then bring it down right there. And then the rosy cheeks. Just right like that. And bring it off to the side just a little. There you go. Your cosmetics are in. So yeah. I also have another blender project right here that I have my cosmet that I have my other cosmetics in. Um so what you want to do is so once you have all your cosmetics on and everything like this you just want to go to add the camera you want to go to add K 
camera. Camera's in. And you just want to rotate it so it's like this. And like it's not facing down. And it's facing straight. Almost like that. And then bring it down some more. And then once once you get the camera straight, you want to go to view camera active camera so you view the active camera now what you want to do is you want to go to view again navigate scroll down you see walk navigation and just like this you can you, if you move your mouse it navigates and if you move ASW D it will navigate as well and once you find the right spot you just you just right click just like just like that and and then once once you once you find the spot you want to go to you want to hit render render image and then once you render your image it will look something like this now what you want to do is you want to is you is you want to hit image and then you want to scroll down and you see save as and then you can save it wherever. I'm just going to save it into my uh, saved photos or whatever. Just like that. And now what you want to do is you want to open your Opera or, or whatever you want to open. Now what you want to do is you want to type in background remover. I have it already saved right here. And then... If the fir the first link should pop you up right here. Just upload image right here. Boom. Just like that. And your image is uploaded and will and it'll automatically remove the background for you. You just want to download that. Now what you want to do is you want to open this app called Photo P. I already have it saved. Right over here. And it should be the first link. You want to you want to head, head to new project and then i suggest doing the F fb group holder it works the best for thumbnails now what you want to do is you want to open your file explorer and then you want to go to downloads and you can drag your gorilla tag player in just like this and you can size it up however you want just like that perfect and then now what you want to do is you want to open your file for again and I already have an image saved um it's the no, that's not it okay I already have an image image saved pretty sure it's in It's, it's this one right here. And say if your thumbnail, if your background is going into your gorilla, you just want to change, you just want to take this and put it, you just want to take your gorilla and you just want to take this, these two and reverse it. And now it's behind here. And... Hold on, I just gotta erase that real quick. Um, so yeah, you just wanna size it up just like this until you get right here. And then you wanna hit shift and then just size it up just like this. Just like that. And then you wanna do that. So now your gorilla is in just like this. Now what you wanna do is if you want to add a text, you you just go around so you see the uh, the text bar, and you just want to add a text bar. And if the font is if the text is small, then you want to just go to the size. I suggest doing like mid fifties, but in this case, I'm doing one let one word, so I'm doing I'm doing two fifty, just like this. And you can type in whatever you want, but if you want to change the color, you can go to this right here. And change the color just like that. 
and you just type in whatever you want. In this case, I'm typing a tutorial. And in this one, and if you want to add like a stroke to it, just go on the on the right. I'm going to double click it, blending options. And then you just want to add a stroke to that. Perfect. And if you want to like make it like so it's like hanging down, you just go to warp, none. And then you click shell, shell lower. And then you can size it however you want right there just like that and if you want to add a shadow to your gorilla double click your gorilla blending options and then drop shadow and if you go right here you can change the angle of the shadow i suggest doing right right there so it looks like it's in the sun now what you want to do is once once you have your everything in you can do that and if if you get a i already have some image saved um i have a blender i have a photo p one uh i can put right down there and i also have a blender one as well images just for um for better purposes and i'm also going to add a another text right here i'm going to change the size to let's do 150. No, 150. and then i just take the one oops that was not supposed to happen. And you just type in blender. Actually, I'm gonna change the size to 100. Just like that. Blender. And then I'm going to add a other stroke to that, just like that. Just like that. And one, once you're finished with everything, putting every everything in, you just want to go to Files and Export as PNG. Once you click that, it will start the download. And that is everything you need to know on making Blender thumbnails. And, and you drag it to your desktop, and there it is. There's your Blender thumbnail. And I hope you like this video, guys. Make sure to subscribe and like the video. So, bye, guys.